going on, growers? It's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. Today, me and Tuck want to take you along with us for a late October harvest and tour. Let's go! Let's start things out by checking out the Nikita's Gift Persimmon. Look at the size of this tree. It has got absolutely massive and look how much fruit is loaded onto this thing. You'll notice the fruit is a little small this year. I probably left uh, a little too many fruit, but that's okay. They're still gonna ripen and when they do, oh my gosh, these things are like candy. They're not ready until after a hard frost where they get really soft. It's almost like jelly-like on the inside, but uh, I think they've called this nectar of the gods before. I mean, it's like, Sweet, amazing tasting honey. The fruit is just so good. And I love that it's our latest producing fruit. So we're getting uh, you know, fruits early in the spring with strawberries all the way up to these persimmons after the frost. So when you can extend your season by getting all different kinds of fruits, it's such an added benefit. Let's keep moving though. I wanna show you one thing real quick here, the asparagus. Look how massive these asparagus got. You'll notice that there's not many of these red balls these red balls are the seeds. So if you allow a lot of plants to have these seeds, it's gonna draw a lot of energy from the, from the root. We don't wanna do that. We want all just ferns like these, the male. Absolutely beautiful. Let's keep going though. We got a lot of stuff to grab too. You'll notice as we look at this tree that some of the leaves are starting to turn. So the green is fading from them. The chlorophyll is breaking down. So it's just a good sign, a sign that, you know, the cold weather is here, the days are getting shorter and a frost is on its way. So we're expected to have a light frost tonight. That's why we're gonna grab a bunch of stuff. Let's go over here first. Check out this watermelon we got right here underneath the apple tree. This is a watermelon, the Alibaba. I just stuck this thing in the corner of the raised bed. It trails all its way through. Time to harvest this baby. So let's get it. Let me show you, come around on this side. So one way to know when the watermelons are ready is when it comes to melons, you should just be able to pick it up and it should separate from the vine. You'll notice how the vine has died there. So that's a good indication that thing is, this thing is absolutely ripe and ready to be eaten. Let's actually cut it off. Having a problem with my pruners here. There we go. Let's cut this baby off. Move it off to the side and then keep harvesting because I gotta get some of these apples. Check out this apple. Look at the size of that thing. Look how monster that apple is. We gotta harvest this baby. This is the Liberty apple. And man, you don't get apples more perfect or larger than this. Look at this. I mean, that's just absolutely stunning. Let me shine this thing and show you what it looks like. Then we're gonna take a bite out of it because this thing, I gotta, I gotta take a bite of it now because this is, it's beautiful. It's always what we always wanted. Look at the boss down here too. He's got a dirty nose. He must've been working on something, huh? Let's shine this apple up, see what it looks like. You'll notice we're rocking the fall merch right now. If you guys want to grab some of the fall merch, check it out at jamesprigioni.com. We got all different kinds of stuff. Oh, that's the shine we want to see. Now let's take a bite. These thing look, things look like they're absolutely ripe. We've got a bunch of them that have fallen on the ground that are still good. And I've collected a bunch of other ones that have fallen. So today we're gonna harvest the rest of them because we're getting a, a light frost. So let's just, let's just take a bite out of this baby. Mmm. <sighs> That's ripe. So good. None of the green in there anymore. Incredible flavor. The, the most disease resistant apple tree on the planet, but a great producer and a great flavored one as well. Let's get a couple more up here. Let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. All organic. I showed you guys in previous videos the kind of sprays I use, but this is how you get, <clears throat> sorry. This is how you get consistent organic fruit from your trees. With the right, <clears throat> with the right sprays, the right regimen, you could be getting just delicious fruit all the time. Let's get this last one right here. Oh yeah, you'll love to see it. So let's start filling up our uh, bucket. Before I do that though, let's take a peer over to the left. Here are these uh, Zucchino Rampicantes. These things are incredible producers. They just create so much food in such a short amount of time. There's another one back here. Definitely gonna grow these more in the future. They got a nice mild flavor, incredibly productive. And like I've mentioned in the past, this can be eaten and used as an either summer squash or a winter squash. Let's keep going, we got more stuff to do. Me and Tuck decided we wanna cut out, open this baby, see what it looks like on the inside. This guy's about as excited as I am, going hard on that stem. Let's cut it open and get a taste of it, boy. So let's just, ooh, that thing popped open easily. You'd love to see it. He's already licking on the inside. He knows this is in the cucumber family. 
Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. This is the Alibaba. These things get even bigger, but there wasn't a long enough of a season because I planted it a bit late, but you love to see fresh watermelon. Monster one harvested in October. Let's cut a piece of it and see how it actually tastes. Just cut it, look at Tuck, have an absolute blast. We got a, a watermelon enjoyer. I'll have to give him a piece. So let's see, oh, yeah. Let's get a taste of this baby. Oh my gosh. This is real food. This is, it's real food. It's like Bill Mollison says, if you want organic food, you gotta grow it yourself. Mmm. Incredible flavor. It could be a little more ripe. It should have a little bit of a sweeter flavor, but still fantastic flavor. Fantastic watermelon overall. Definitely gonna be growing this one next year. Talk wannabes. Let's give the boss a piece and see if he wants. See if he wants some watermelon. What do you think, boy? Eh, we'll take a bite of that. This guy loves his cucumbers, loves his watermelon. He's a good dog. Spam some hearts down low if you love seeing the boss in the videos. We got a lot more stuff to grab though. Let's keep moving. I'm gonna track back, grab my bowl, stick a few of my apples in it, and then I made an error. I said that that was the last apple, so we still got a couple more. I'm just gonna grab those really quick. Actually, I'll leave those for tomorrow or the next day. Come out and grab one fresh right off the tree. <laughs> How I love to do it. Let's keep going though. So over here, we gotta grab some peppers. These beds are doing nicely. You can see I've got a mix of some of my fall stuff that's headed, that's starting to produce and do well, but I've also got the, the last of my summer things. So we're gonna grab a lot of the summer stuff to, uh, to get it before the frost comes. So we're gonna grab all these. <laughs> Late in the season, still getting peppers. Beautiful. Drop those in. I know there's a few more. If you notice some of the, uh, those, those ones look bad, this one looks good. Notice some of the white flies are on my, on my uh, brassicas. I just sprayed for some of them, we're gonna have to spray again. I'm using a, just a garden spray I'll show you a bit later. We're gonna take this uh, broccoli though because I wanna bring this inside and have a nice snack later. Looks like Tuck's on the, on the peppers now. This guy has missed being in some of the videos so let's just grab this from him, keep going. Some brassicas, cauliflower and stuff still needs a little bit of time but even though the frost is coming, these brassicas will still produce late past the frost. So we'll try to grab this pepper here. Then we got a couple more peppers back here, like the Gilboa orange. Grab this baby. Beautiful pepper. Got some carrots in here too, but we'll wait till the other bed to grab some carrots for Tuck. Pan to the over here to the other side. You'll notice we've got more of our uh, cold hardy stuff all planted as I remove some of the summer stuff. You'll notice one thing is these cold hardy veggies are planted a lot closer than I would in the spring. So when the fall and winter comes, the days are shorter and they're cooler. So you could plant your stuff a lot closer because it grows much slower than it does in like the spring and summer. So when it grows a lot slower, plant your stuff denser. You'll notice a lot of the brassicas and, and late winter stuff we have in pots. Some of this stuff, I didn't have space in my in my bed, so I planted into these. Then I'll bring it into the greenhouse lady, later and then get good, good, good production through the whole winter. Some more peppers to grab. Look at this stuff I got in pots, doing fantastic. We've got some ideas with these peppers too, how we're gonna be growing these same peppers next year. So let's get these, look at these Criolla de Cucina. Get some of these babies. Tuck's working hard on that. So we got about, look how many are ripe just on this one plant. Growing it in a pot. Anybody can grow this kind of food, even on their patio. Look at the beauty too. This is the Crayola de Cocina, the one I've told you, you guys gotta get planted. Beautiful pepper. Come around over here. You'll notice we've got our kales, some more brassicas, broccoli, cauliflower, stuff that we're gonna be getting late into the season. Swing around over here. Let's get the rest of these eggplants. I showed you guys this one, my favorite variety of eggplant, the Rosita, incredible eggplant. We'll grab some from here. Some of these got a little large, but they're still good to go. Again, no, this one's a little big, but we'll take it. More brassicas and pots. Always looking to extend our harvest, whether that be in beds or in the greenhouse. So you'll notice 
Right now, all I have out is my, is my, uh, my row cover. We're gonna cover the plants with this tonight. I'm not gonna put the plastic on just yet because after the frost tonight, we're supposed to have a number of nice days. So if possible, I like to keep the plastic off of the beds as long as possible. I don't put it on until I actually need to. So we're just gonna go with the row cover for now. Let's move over to the other fruit forest and keep harvesting. Right down here, we'll start with the white scallop squash. I can't even count how many of these we harvested this year. It's just, it's just absurd. The Castado Romanesco zucchinis have also done good too. Getting a little ugly late in the season, but I'm sure it won't affect the flavor. We've got some nicer ones in the back, but just look on the ground, how many just of these white scallop squash there are. Another one here, another one over there. They're just littered all over the ground. Let me grab some squash in the back though, some nice ones. All I gotta do is just dance on top of the keyhole bed. Hidden back here, we've got a Castado Romanesco. That same plant that was over there is back here now. Grab a couple of these. Beautiful size ones, absolute winners. And let's keep going. The birdies raised bed over here is where we've got some more of this winter stuff planted. So you'll notice some of the beds I have the winter stuff planted. I plant the winter stuff in a lot of the beds where I have covers made for them. This way I can grow this stuff all through the winter. With my two layers of plastic on the hoop house, makes it so, you know, it brings me up three zones essentially. So I can just grow these incredible, nutritious greens in the winter, get some fresh snacks when you really need it. Let's keep going though. Let's check out this other birdies raised bed with a lot of fruit in it. These cabbages are getting close, should be ripe pretty soon. Can't wait for that. The cauliflowers are heading up back here. Fantastic. More cabbages, carrots, lettuces getting close. My favorite variety, the bronze mignonette. Absolute winner. More uh, lettuces and stuff behind there. So this stuff's gonna be producing fruit for us nice and late. Let's keep going. I wanna grab some stuff, show you the, the biggest pepper that I've ever grown. Let me bring it over here. So some of these tomatoes are still just insanely loaded with tomatoes. We're gonna harvest a bunch of the small ones that are ripe today, but uh, that would take too long because there's just way too many tomatoes on this thing. This is the blue cream berry. And actually before I move further, let's get some of these German lunchbox tomatoes. These ones are nice and ripe. Look at this thing. This late in the season, putting out this many tomatoes. You kidding me? This is what we love to see and what we love to grow. That's about good for now. We'll come out later and grab the rest of them. Let's keep going though. Tuck's looking for some carrots, so we'll grab him some carrots from one of the other beds. Look at this right here. Come in here. Look, you can't even see it because it's laying down, this pepper. I don't even want to stake it up because it's so big, it'll be popping out of my, out of my uh, covers. But look at, the, look, at that, look at that pepper. Look at the size of these things. We've got one that's like ripe right here. The biggest pepper I have ever grown. This, this one is hard to pronounce, I'll put the name of it. It's like a kangura or something like that. I'll put the name of it here, but look at this. <laughs> Sweet pepper, look at this. <laughs> look at the size of this thing. Absolutely massive, like as big as my head. This is a whole entire week of meals for the boss here. Oh yeah, that's a good smelling one, huh boy? <laughs> that's it, that's not for you today, boy. That's not for you. Ease off it, boy, ease off. We've got some more down here. I wanna grab one more of the big ones because uh, they're almost ripe. And we're gonna be covering this one, so I'm not worried about the light frost. We're gonna be covering this bed. Look at this, huge. Let's keep moving though, we've got some more stuff. I got some beautiful Zulu peppers I wanna to grab to the right of us, or to the left of me, before I get some more of the uh, apples. Let's just stop here though, grab a couple little peppers. We went from a huge pepper to a tiny one. Look at this, look at the comparison. <laughs> Variety selection is one of the greatest tools gardeners have and one of the most things one of the most fun things about gardening let's get over here check out some of these zulu look at the blue cream berry that dropped down i really just made the mistake of using bamboo that was a little too old and these plants just grew way too vigorously got too heavy and then once a big storm came it just blew it over that's okay though let's get some more some of these zulu look at these beautiful peppers so we had the red, we had the orange. Now let's get some of the black peppers. Man, insane. Got some more down here. Incredibly productive plant. A couple more over here. Looks like Tuck's working on something. Should have got a bigger bowl, but that's the story of mine and Tuck's life. We just hate carrying around huge heavy balls all the time, right boy? Buddy, take it easy. This guy's going nuts. Got a couple of eggplants next to us. We're gonna grab. As every time I turn around, I, I'm, I seem to be missing a pepper, huh? The thief. 
I don't know why I'm even doing it. It's like a game. Every time I put it back, he grabs it. We'll just let him have it. You let him have the whole bowl. Any more eggplants? Not really, that looks pretty good. Let's go over and grab some of the apples over here. So here's an apple that I'm not particularly happy about. So this is a variety that is not super common. It's called the Bella. I tried it out and this is the second year where I've got apples late in the season like this, a small harvest and they never look that great. They're supposed to get like a darker color, but they still stay this like pale kind of green. And I mean, the flavor's okay, but it's not like it is for the Williams Pride or the Honeycrisp or the Liberty. So we may end up removing this tree. I'll have to think about it just so we can replace it with one that's even better. That's one of the hardest things, especially for new gardeners to give up a, a fruit like an apple tree or something to cut it down and replace it. It's so hard to like let a tree go, but sometimes it's really necessary if you want to have a garden that's super productive and that encourages you to get out there. Because if you have a tree that's planted and you don't even necessarily like the fruit when it comes out, you got to replace it with something that you love to eat, something that will get you outside, get you motivated. And so you stay on top of it and do get a harvest because getting apples is not easy. It takes a decent amount of work. Let's get some carrots. I know we have some here for the boss man. Tucky, carrots boy. See what we got. <laughs> oh, beauty. A little split at the end. It's okay. I know this guy's gonna want this. So we'll let him snack on that and we'll just grab maybe one or two more. Grab one here. These carrots are gonna get sweeter now that the weather's getting much colder. So let me grab this one back here. Maybe taste it for myself. A little shorter. Snap that off. A little dirt on it, but like they say, dirt never hurt. We'll just take a little bite, taste it. Already getting sweeter, you could taste the sugars coming out as the cold weather comes. So, man, so good. We're gonna leave these carrots in so they can get even sweeter and we can be eating them later into the season. Amazing food grown right in your backyard. Should we try the apple before I let you go? Let's take one bite of it. Mm. Nice sweet flavor, but not good enough for only producing a few fruit and not actually getting that nice color it's supposed to have. So we may have to replace this one, but still grateful to get some fresh apples. That's that easy video growers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. It's kind of bittersweet coming out here and grabbing all this fruit just because it's a, uh, we got a frost coming tonight. It's going to be a light frost, but it's still, it's like, the end of the summer growing season kind of so it's a little bit sad but we can't be can't be too upset with the amazing amount of food that we've been able to harvest today and throughout the whole year it's just this year we've harvested at least 10x compared to last year and every year we're just harvesting more and it's becoming easier and more fun because experience techie want a carrot this guy's been out here the whole time he was going to town on this carrot i think he's going to go back to town on it he really loves these things especially now that they're super sweet me and Tuck had a blast out here. We hope you guys did as well. Wanted to mention before we let you go to check out some of the merch at James Prigioni. Grab a sweatshirt, grab a long sleeve tee. We even got like some dog bowls and stuff now. So if you could think of it, we probably got it on the site. And this guy's always the boss, always the master, always the leader. So do not forget to spam hearts down low for King Tuck, always reigning over all the carrots. I also wanted to thank one of our new channel members, Lori Baldwin. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for contributing. Like I always say, thanks for having your hand in everything we're doing back here. Just take a quick pan of what the garden looks like. So it's almost like things are starting to go to sleep. Everything is looking a bit sad. The chlorophyll is breaking down. The yellows, the reds are coming into the leaves, but it's a, it's a beautiful thing to, to watch the face of the forest change as the seasons do. So we had a blast out here. Again, we hope you did too. Tuck and James will be back to you again real soon. We out.